I, I, I want to talk to you about the concerning the the concern that I have about about the fact that you see more and more roads and being being put more and more into our society in a in a very over overt way in terms of policy. For example, the the recent Hobby Lobby decision to the, the Supreme Court said that companies didn't have to provide, provide contraceptive incense to their employees. Um. Now, I think what a lot of proponents and defenders of Hobby Lobby are missing is they have this sort of foolishness about sex anyway, and they tend and they tend to believe that any woman who wants to have sex for fun or who wants to have sex for anything other than not getting pregnant. It just it just looks a lot in the horror and all kinds of nonsense. So they don't they don't tend to see what I do is the real worry. of um allowing corporations and, and their religious beliefs to dictate the religious beliefs of people who might be working for them but who may not have the same personal beliefs and ideas. Um Think about it this way. If you say you like to drink beer, but you work for a company that's owned by Orthodox Muslims. Now, Muslims are known for not drinking at all, not smoking. Would you think it'd be okay if? If they said, if your Muslim employer said, you know, I, I'll pay you, but only if you, only if you, if you do with the money what I feel you should do with it, what I feel is proper. A lot of a lot of people would not stand for that, but in the case of insurance and in the case of Christianity and Christianity, they do. The same thing with a a Muslim woman who was um the night the night age of ever crummy and since because she 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 refused. To, to remove her head first. Now, Abercrombie and Vince had a policy that, that the only headgear you can wear is the actual uniform headgear. And she won that. She took, she took Abercrombie and Vince to court and won. Now, I've seen several 
liberals, not all liberals, but several liberals, defending uh, But liberals have been upset, and rightfully so, for several years. The grand case of a pharmacy worker not not wanting to give customer birth control, even if it's even if it's a, even if it's, even if they have a prescription from their doctor. So my question is, how much religious liberty the corporations and employees have that comes serving the public? I think if you work for an employer or if you are an employer, you cannot force your beliefs on, on your employees. Or you cannot you cannot make you cannot you cannot force your religion on to customers. I know I may get a lot of disagreement with this video, but, but tell me what you think. The, the employers and the employees are flexible, but the industry not work or, or has religious freedom gone too far? I think it has. Thank you.